Hi everyone, so good to see you on this Friday. I'm gonna switch my screen here. Make sure, Ramel, can you confirm that you're seeing everything okay? Yeah. All right, all right, perfect. All right, so I just wanna mention if you're on YouTube, I won't be able to actually see your comments on StreamYard, but I'll see them later and I'll answer as soon as I can. So welcome on this rainy Friday morning. I'm Natalie of SoHungryHippie.com. Leave me a comment if you're here and how you're doing. Hi, Loretta. Hi, Kat. Yay. Did you see my little countdown screen? <laughs> I'm getting so technical. Uh, okay, so I have a lot to go over really quick. I know that last week I had said I would do a demo today, but we're kind of short on time. Some unexpected things are happening, so I'm just going to show you new stuff. And I think that's just as exciting, if not more exciting. Remember that I have over 110 videos on my YouTube channel if you ever need to see something. And quite a few of them are really short, like two minutes or less. Things like the zipper jig or how to put on a pull, uh, the rivet press, snap press. I'm trying to think what else adding an adjustable buckle to your bag strap, things like that. Those are the really short videos. And then I have the longer ones that walk you through my patterns or sometimes other people's patterns if I have their permission. So try it out. It's so hungry hippie. Hi, Tamara. Yay. Hi, Elizabeth. Uh, Nancy Delva. Hi, everyone. Hi, Bethany. So Bethany, you're the reason I'm going to show something today. So we'll get there in a minute. First, hi, Deidre. First, I want to go over something new that I have in the shop. I've made this skirt. This is the Cleo skirt pattern by Made by Ray. A few weeks ago, if you were on the live, I mentioned this. And I had so many people asking me for the printed pattern that I thought I better stock this again. I used to when it first came out. And then I kind of got away from garments for a little while. But this is my favorite skirt pattern. So I have printed patterns in the shop. If you want the PDF, just go to Made by Ray. It's fine. Uh, I have made so many versions of this and all of them, I believe all of them were, are made from quilting cotton. So you'll get a really professional skirt. It has a flat front band, so you don't have any bunching. And then it has elastic in the back. So it is super comfortable, it has pockets, you have the option of a hem band and you can adjust the length. I've made longer ones. I've made shorter ones. I even made this kind of patchwork one years ago. So it has all different fabrics that I sewed together in kind of big chunks. And then I made the skirt from that. And on the inside, I get a lot of questions about the seams. Let me see what I did. Yeah, I just surged them. So I don't get any fraying. It's just surged when I piece this together. And it looks like on the pocket I did a French seam. So that's kind of fancy. You don't need to do that. If you just treat your edges, either you can cut out your pieces with pinking shears, which are those jaggedy shears. Uh, it won't fray. You can uh, serge it or you can double fold. There's, there's just a whole bunch of ways you can do. You don't have to make things with French seams. So don't feel intimidated. A total beginner to garment patterns can do made by Ray patterns. I'm not joking, I'm not BSing, <laughs> I'm serious. I did her, uh, where is it? It used to be called the Washi. Now it's called the Trillium. This is a dress I wore at Quilt Market one year, and I have this pattern too. It's called the Trillium. It's in the shop. Now, my question for you all is, do you want me to do kits for this? There's really not a whole bunch you need. Uh, let's see. A little bit of interfacing, some bias tape, and then your fabric. There's, there's no zippers. There's no snaps. It's just really straightforward and nice. So let me know, or you can email me if you want kits, or if you just want to get the pattern and get the other stuff yourself, you might already have it at home. I also 
brought in her brand new, well, it came out last year, rose pants, but now in print. It's brand new in print. And this is a wide leg pant with the same kind of waistband as the Clio. So you've got a really nice flattering flat banded front and then elastic in the back. So you can eat your cake and still feel comfortable. And for this one, I'm bringing in some really cool rayon because if you've never sewn with rayon before, I want you to know it's pretty easy. And I love the feel. Rayon is very nice to wear in the summer. It's like more floaty, a little bit lighter, and it just, it's not stiff at all. It moves with your body. So I'm going to bring that in. I should be here soon. Uh, and then we'll get that stuff in the shop for you. Ramel, do you see anything I need to answer real quick? Uh, not yet. Okay. I'm monitoring. Okay. Are you throwing any of the comments up or uh, not? I can. Okay. I, I just I threw Tamara's up. I've never made garments with quilting cotton, but want to. Yeah. I, I love a quilting cotton for some garments. I, I tend to stick to the looser pants and skirts and easy patterns like the trillium dress, things that, I don't know, there, there's not, like it's not meant to be flowy. In other words, like a tiered dress, you would wanna make that from a rayon because if you made it with cotton, it would stand out from your body and be real, real boxy. So yeah, I know, it, it's fun, I love it. Oh, hi, Freddie from Chicago. <gasps> hi, Cindy. Oh, my gosh. Yay, Cindy's here. Cindy's doing a drawstring bag tomorrow, Saturday. Yeah, tomorrow's Saturday <laughs> on her Facebook if y'all want to attend. I love it. Um, Sharon from Alberta. Yay. Hi, you guys. So good. Oh, Amy's here, too. Uh, Trillium was the washi. Yes. So she went through a rename. Let me put this up on the screen. This used to be the ultra, ultra, super duper popular washi dress. Now it's called Trillium. I like that name, Trillium, Trillium. It sounds so fancy. Oh, and while we're talking about quilting cotton, I thought I'd show you a, um, a new fabric that I just brought in. Well, it's not a new fabric per se, but it's new to SoHungryHippie.com. I bought so many bolts of... Anna Maria fabric, you guys. And I didn't drag all of it over because I just remembered last minute. Can we bring another one? Sure. The one on the far left, I think, Ramel, I haven't shown. That one is newer to Anna, Anna's line. I have a lot of fabrics coming in. Super excited. Not that one. That's the, the far left. The, then the far right, sorry. <laughs> My other left. Uh, and this, this stuff, I know it's big. I know it's bold. I've made Cleo skirts with her big, bold prints. And I always have people saying, oh my gosh, where did you get that skirt? All the time. It's just attitude. It, how you wear it, your confidence. It's That's all it is. So let me show you this one. This is newer. I am also stocking. Look at that. Oh, I have it upside down and it's still pretty. <laughs> Hot tip. A lot of times with garments, I use a print that doesn't look noticeably upside down in case I sew or cut out something wrong because I've done it. I showed you guys those pants that I made and I cut out the back upside down and they're astronauts. So they're, they're facing upside down. I don't care. I'm still going to wear it. But... That is something that I think about when I'm cutting out garments from fabric. <laughs> Try to get a print that's not noticeably directional. Um, okay, Ashley, how much material did it take to make a Clio? So I can cut my Clio with pockets and hem band in two yards. She has a lot, the, all the yardage requirements are on the back, which I put in the listing for this pattern. In the shop, fabric requirements in yards, in yards, there's two views, view A or view B, depending on the hem. And she's saying one and three quarters yard for the main. 
And if you want to do the contrast, that's another three quarter of a yard of fabric. And that's, you know, that's not pieced. That's so you don't have any seam lines. Sometimes when I'm low on fabric, I'll piece things. And on a lot of prints, such as Anna Maria's flowery prints, you don't see a piece line. You really don't. So just give yourself some slack to think outside the box sometimes and do what you have to do. Her garment patterns were the first ones, did I say that already, that I sewed when I first started making garments. And uh, I just was so relieved that the instructions were very clear and unassuming. She didn't assume I had knowledge I didn't have. And so, I, I mean, as a sewist, I appreciate that. Even now, so many years later, with a lot of garment experience, I appreciate a pattern that tells me all the stuff. <laughs> so, yay. Uh, yeah, it will depend on your size. That's true. Delva says it depends on your size. But her patterns, this one goes up to a 96 inch hip. So it, and it's forgiving. This is a, a gathered skirt. It's flattering on most people. So don't worry about it. Have fun and explore and try something new for sure. So there's that. Moving on to the next thing. Bethany, Bethany's here, told me that I needed to make the retreat bag. And so I did last night, like super, this is so fast. I made this one last night. This is a small because I'm going to stock kits for you guys. I have the small frame, which is this size bag, and I've got the large frame. Bethany sent me some emails. She did both small and large, and I'll make a large as a sample and put them side by side so you can see, but definitely go and download this free pattern. It's called the Retreat Bag on emmelinebags.com. Cindy, is that, the, is that right? Ah, now I'm freaking out. EmmelineBags.com, yes. Janelle provides this pattern for free. And then I'm going to kit the fabric, the interfacing, zipper, and the frames. These are the little frames. A hot tip with these is, and she says this in the pattern, uh, these little end caps, sometimes they'll come off as you're putting the frame through the fabric. So just put a dot of glue and put it back on so they're glued on. I did run into that. And actually this one, I took them off. I'm going to see if the frame pokes through the fabric eventually. I don't think it will, but this is so fun and so useful. I've got mine stuffed at the moment because I wanted it to really be ready to go. I just did mine with quilting cotton on, on both inner and outer. I messed up the first time I cut it out. I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to watch a documentary. Full disclosure, messed it up. So I had to use just the half yard for the lining for both inner and outer. And I thought, oh, that works. That's cool to know. And uh, anyways, where was I going with this? Bethany says that she makes these and gifts them and they're always well received. So if you're over the basic zipper pouch, here's the next step. Do it. It's it. The construction is so easy. I really thought it was going to be more difficult. It wasn't. I don't know. That probably what took me 45 minutes last night or something, Ramel. Uh, I, I just, I could tell you we moved through it very quickly. Yeah, you could tell. It was, it was fast. So I don't have this listed yet, but it's coming this weekend. If you're on my email, which I will be sending out Sunday, you'll get the link for the kits. Do you guys want just the quilting cotton kits or does anybody want to venture i think this would be really easy in soft vinyl really easy so i'll test the soft vinyl one hopefully today or tomorrow and make sure um bethany have you made it in stiffer vinyl you know more like a faux leather let us know in the comments if you have delva says it's very customizable you can make it very masculine for the men in your life, exactly like a dot kit um, or add straps. And oh, I know pockets like I love it when a pattern lets you play and and do. I mean, I guess most patterns let you do whatever you want, but 
I really love it. Also, I messaged Janelle last night and made sure this was okay, and it is. I'm going to be kidding the Necessary Clutch Wallet and the Fiona wristlet. This was in Bag of the Month in 2021, and it was really well received. I'll make samples of these for you, too, so you can kind of see. I've made a ton of Necessary Clutch Wallets, great pattern. I mean, you guys know, I'm only going to carry patterns I trust. So we're going to get kits of those ready for you. If you rather just have the pattern by itself, will you let me know? I'm trying to gauge if creating all these listings in my store is worth it or not. It takes a long time to build a listing. But if there's interest, you can just get the pattern too from me. So let's see. Vinyl, it's awesome in your soft vinyl. Yay! So if you guys are new here, I don't think really anyone probably is at this point that I'm looking real quickly. Soft vinyl sews just like fabric. It's the perfect entry, the perfect gateway drug <laughs> to get you into vinyl sewing. <laughs> it's really, really easy. And uh, I should mention, no, I'm not going to mention the course yet. Well, I'll have some news for you soon. If you're worried about sewing vinyl, don't be. It's just something new. Anything new is always scary, right? But you can do it. I know you can. If I can do it, you can do it. All right. Next on the agenda, since we just talked about Emmeline, I'm also stocking her other hardware. Like my mom told me get tassel ends, so those are on the way. I got in the zipper cord ends, and I'm gonna I have them in all the finishes. We're gonna stock all of these. See, I even bought baskets and labeled it. <laughs> so we're gonna have tons of this for you. Anything else you oh I have gajillions of D rings coming in and buckles. I just, I want to make it so you don't have to search high and yonder. Is that a saying? High and low. So if you can get it in one place, it's always easier, right? Time is a time is money. Um, okay. So that's coming. I'm so excited. Uh, we have some basket shelving to do this weekend. I love organization and cleaning. I was really in the mood yesterday because it was warm and sunny and like 64 and beautiful day. beautiful day. And then today it's freezing cold and raining and gloomy, but that's okay. It's spring. All right. Next up, maybe I, sh I don't think I can get this knot out. I may have to cut it. I have a ton of fat quarter bundles that just arrived. This is Camellia by Melody Miller. I think that's how you say it. That's how I say it. Maybe it's Camella or Camellia. I don't know, but it's pretty and I love it. This one, oh, I already forgot how many. I. It says in the shop how many fat quarters this is. Perfectly coordinated, great for a quilt, but also great for patchwork. So if you wanted to do a patchwork Santorini or a patchwork zipper pouch, here are your fabrics. You can make a gajillion of them. I think what I'm going to do is a pat patchwork curtains for in here. And maybe next time have some curtains up. I got these naked bars everywhere. Uh, so I thought, yeah, I'll just, I have that patchwork quilt pattern in my shop. And it gives you instructions from everything from two and a half inch patchwork squares all the way up to 10 inch squares. And it tells you how to build your blocks and then how big your quilt will be at the end. But you can just modify that. So two and a half inch squares for a Santorini tote, cut it at the measurements. You know what I mean? So tons of these are already in the shop. We're shipping now. I also put Elixir up as a pre-order. That should be in in a couple weeks. And I also have Warp and Weft by Alexia, a bag for Ruby Star Society. All this is Ruby Star. And that's coming in really soon. And if you haven't seen that line, it's got tons of texture. And uh, it, it, it looks like it could be garment. It's just an amazing line. So I will try to get that listing up this weekend too. I buy things that I think will be really cool as bag fabric first. And then I think about the other stuff, you know, like quilts and garments. It's just how I think. 
Oh, okay. So I don't know if you've seen it this week, but Abby, Justine on Instagram, she has, she sells her homemade bags and I sent her some vinyl to test for me and it's the thermal. So this is how it arrives. It looks like this. And if you're warm, which I am absolutely an ice cube right now, when you touch it, it turns purple. And I put her video in the shop on this listing. You can find it by searching thermal vinyl. And you can see Abby's hand come in and then go away. Pink. No. It, Let me try my hand. Just want I just want to try it. Come on in. Come on in. Oh shh. Come on. Come on. Now prepare for the camera. No, it's okay. Okay. Put your okay. hand down. Let's see. Oh, you can kind of see it. Oh, wait, wait, okay. Wait, do wait. it again. Press it on me, maybe. Oh, here we'll we'll do this. Press it. Press it. <laughs> okay. Did it show? Yep. Yep. There it is. There you I go. I thought that was pink. Ramel right. has circulation. Obviously, I don't. Right. It's not pink, homie. I. It looks pink to me. No, right. that's a purple. Obviously. Okay. Let me see if I can grab one. It's just so cool. I've been playing with it for a little while. So. Come over here. You're you're backwards. Oh, sorry. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Look, your whole palm shows. Yeah, my whole palm. Anyways, it sews beautifully. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a luminol, kind of. Only that's green, I guess. Uh so anyways, it sews perfectly. Abby made her transcendence pouch and her lip caddy. Those patterns are in her Etsy shop. Uh, just search Justine Patterns or Abby Curry, Abby with an E, Patterns. You'll find them. I I also linked it on that listing. I linked her patterns because I've made them. They're great. They're wonderful. And this vinyl works really nicely. This is a microfiber backing, so it doesn't, this is not sticky, not sticky in the least. It's very smooth. So there's that. And this is the size. This is how we ordered it cut. So you can make a, um, a purse size Santorini with this cut or a couple of zipper pouches, you know, key fobs. And you can get a lot out of this size piece. This is 18 by 27. So there's that. That's fun. Then, oh, I do have one or two of these kits left. This is the mint Santorini tote that has a, a full video walkthrough of me making this exact bag. That I have that in the shop for you. And then yesterday I made these up because I thought this would be so pretty. This is cork for the bottom. This is for a Santorini tote, purse size. Cork for the bottom. Let me open it. A uh, Ruby Star Society canvas for the upper. Let me show you this. I love this. It's metallic. Can you see that gold? It brings out the gold flex in the cork so nicely. So there's that. Then I put in four back quarters of Ruby Star speckled that perfectly coordinate with this. Uh, for the pockets, or if you don't want pockets, you can just use this for something else, but they coordinate perfectly with the fabric and cork plus lining fabric for the inside of the bag. And you're getting, if you want it, if you already have this, I don't need to send it to you. The pattern, a package of SF 101, a Bohemian tassel, zipper pack of the brand new cream and rose gold zipper pulls pack zipper pack and a dark brown sewable leather strap and the I feel like the millions of Santorini videos I've done you'll see all that stuff if you just check out my YouTube channel over there I know that sometimes it's weird how YouTube shows things so what I have found is I have to click on the tab that says videos and then you can see all of them. Otherwise, they tend to just show you whatever is the most popular. And that might not be what you're what you're after, right? 
Okay, so that brand new kit is in the shop. I could only make one, two, three, four, five kits. That's all I have. So if you want it, go grab it. I can't get any more of that Ruby Star fabric. It's gone. All right. I will fix that kit later. So it looks good. So we've got that. Oh, and this is the purse size. I, I brought down my example so you saw what I meant. So this would be the cork. This would be the canvas. Here, here's the leather strap. On this one, I did a recess zipper. The normal pattern has the zipper at the top. This version is the recessed. And then lining. And as you can see in this example bag, I didn't put any pockets. A lot of times I don't. If I'm in a hurry and I just want to sew a bag, I'll just leave off the pop pockets. I don't care. I find that sometimes when I uh, use my pockets, I forget stuff is in there. <laughs> that's so dumb. Okay, so that's the purse size. Yay, let's see. I think that might have been it. Do we have any questions, Ramel? Uh, I didn't see any. Okay. Um, I'm just a little bummed out that I can't I can't reply to the comments here. So oh, you I can't? Oh. I can only reply to the ones on Facebook. So I, I just want to say hi to Tamara. She's she's on on, on YouTube. So. Oh, oh, okay, Tamara or Tamara. Tam, Tam, Tamara. Um, what did you say yesterday? That was so funny. Ramel likes to say things in a different way, and I really like that. It's kind of like an accent, but it's not. It's not. It's just a different way of pronouncing. And you said something yesterday, and I wanted to adopt that, and I already forgot it. Great. It'll come back again. We'll it'll, it'll come back. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else? I think that was it. I did mention the other week I'm carrying. Oh, this just came in. The classic handbag from Mrs. H. This pattern just arrived. I'm going to sew up a sample and get that in the shop ASAP. I have a lot of sewing to do. Um, the color changing fabric is thermal, thermal activating vinyl. So if you just put thermal in the search bar, it'll come up. It'll be under all vinyls. If you click that on the home page, uh, or, uh, let's see, or under, yeah, thermal, I think it would be the fastest. <laughs> what? It's Tamara. Like, like Tamara. I love it. Do you do you have to say that a lot, Tamara? <laughs> That's how I've always said it. Yeah. And I met her in Chicago a few years ago. So I knew. But I do like it. Like I have a friend who she does go by Tamara. So maybe she just wants to be different. Uh, what is the name? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Just did that. Thermal Vinyl. Oh. All right, that looks good. I know there was one thing. Give me a second. What was I thinking? Oh, yes. I, I meant to show my mountain saddle bag. I think I showed this last week briefly, but this is an emmeline pattern, and I didn't bring it here. I'll have this in kit soon, too. And what I wondered from you guys, this is soft vinyl in pink nebula. Do you want it in soft vinyl? with the accent pieces in the same color like I did. This is an accent piece. This is an accent piece. And I did mine all in the same color. I think it still adds texture and interest and it's cool, but maybe you want that in a different uh, fabric or vinyl. I also did a snap on mine because I didn't have a press lock, but I will have press locks. I bought a bunch of Emmeline press locks. So we're going to have the full, all the hardware, all the fabric, all the vinyl for you. So you can just grab it and make it. If you haven't done this bag, it's a good one. It's And it's relatively quick. So there you go. So there's that. And that might be it. Let me know if you have any questions. And uh, check, check out our, oh, I know what I can share with you guys. In September, we're going to be at the Great Wisconsin Quilt Show, September 8th through the 11th. There will be a So Hungry Hippie booth, and I may be teaching a workshop on Friday as well. Waiting for confirmation on that. 
but that'll be exciting. So if you're localish, if you go to that huge event, the Great Wisconsin Quilt Show in September, we will be there. So that's fun. And yeah, I think that's I think that's it. Let me run through here quick. Yay. Awesome. All right. I think that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for being here. Hopefully next week I will have a demo for you. If you have anything you want to see done, feel free to let me know. You can message me on Instagram also. I'm at So Hungry Hippie. And otherwise, I hope you have a great weekend and see you next time. Okay? All right. Bye. Get sewing. Get making. Get, get, get.